Oh, hello everyone and welcome to this week's viral math problem. This video went viral in Japan a few months back after the media reported that only 60% of 20-year-olds could arrive at the correct answer. The media was surprised at such a low success rate given that Japanese students do very well in international math tests. In this video, I will introduce you to this viral problem. We will try to solve it together and also see why it has been generating so much interest. So here it is, our viral math problem. I want you to do two things, please. Try to solve the problem with and then without a calculator. Once you are done, come back and we will look at the solution together. Okay, good luck and see you shortly. Welcome back. The problem looks pretty straightforward. It has whole numbers and fractions and three basic mathematical operations. Addition, subtraction and division. So let's first try solving it using a calculator. The problem looks simple, so we will use a basic calculator and not a scientific one. So let's start entering the problem into this calculator. 9 minus 3 divided by 1 third, and finally plus 1. The calculator says 9 is the correct answer. Okay, let me pause for a few seconds. If you see anything wrong with this answer, please mention it in the comment section. Now let us try solving the problem again using a calculator, but this time we will be a bit more patient and analytical. So let us look at our problem again. Let us separate this portion and give it our attention. 3 divided by 1 third. So what does this mean? Let us imagine we had 3 jars of water and we have some plants and each plant needs 1 third of a jar of water. So how many plants can we water using our 3 jars? Let's visualize this again. So we have three jars and now let us divide each jar into three equal parts. As you can see, one jar can thus water three plants. So three jars can water nine plants, right? So what we are basically seeing is that three divided by one third can be written as three multiplied by three divided by one or just 3 multiplied by 3. Now with this knowledge, let us go back to our original problem and change it. Our problem thus can also be written as... Now we can easily solve this ourselves, but let us feed it into the calculator. We should get the same result as previously, right? Let's check it out. Hmm, we get 1. This is different from our first answer, which was 9. So why did we get a different answer the first time? To answer this question, let's quickly revisit the original problem. So here is our original problem once again. When we entered this problem into the calculator for the first time, the calculator did not understand that the fraction, which is one third, needed to be grouped together. So it calculated the value of 3 divided by 1 divided by 3, which gave us 1, and which is incorrect. Let us now tell the calculator to group the 1 third together and see what happens. As you just saw, the calculator evaluated the 1 third first as per PEMDAS rules. So we got 9 minus 3 divided by 0.33 plus 1. And this results in 1, which is the correct answer. Did you figure this out? Please let me know what you thought of this video. I would love to hear from you. My name is Sanjay and I make thought-provoking math and science videos. Thanks a lot and bye for now.